Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Wokey, and I'm back with another Fate Grand Order video. What are we talking about today? Well, today is, as of this recording, uh, July 30th. So that means by the time this is uploaded, it'll be July 31st. Which means it's time to talk about what's going to be happening in the next month of Fago NA. So that's going to be today's video. And hold on for this one, because this one's going to be a little bit confusing. And you can also already see why, because I had to change the title of the video because typically these videos are called events and banners because someone complained all you ever do is talk about banners and not events and I said okay I guess that's not accurate so I changed it to be events and banners and it's looking like August is not gonna have a an event at all <laughs> so just campaigns so why do I say that well as you can see here obviously if we look at the current timeline as it is uh, in JP, this is what their August looked like, and obviously we have almost all this. We don't have the MASH banner, but that will probably show up at some point. Um, it will show, will show up some point in August, maybe. But either way, um, so that would make you think, okay, so well, obviously we have to go into September then. The problem is, as you can see here in the roadmap, they already told us that um, Gouda Gouda will be coming early September. So from that we can say, okay, so none of this and above can be, this is basically the end point. This is the end point for all of August. That means anything below it is probably fair game uh, for what will be happening. That, and then before I was gonna go record the video yesterday, they announced that there's actually something else coming to the game, which is the Fates Day Night 20th Anniversary Commemoration Campaign, and that's what we're gonna start off on. So, let's begin. Fates Day Night 20th Anniversary Commemoration Campaign. This happened in uh, JP in 2024, um, at the beginning of the year. We're getting it now because we can't get this in two years because if they did, um, it would no longer be the 20th anniversary celebration. It would be the 22nd celebration. <laughs> and if you saw the little short dev diary on it, I'm going to assume that you did. The thing that is most known about this one is that after you clear Fuyuki, you're going to be able to have a choice of servant and their CE specifically. You have to choose, they're, they're a package deal. You cannot pick Saber and then pick um, um, Jira over here. You can't do that. If you go Saber, you're getting Saber. If you pick Archer, you go in Archer. You can't mix and match. You can't go La Lancer and Assassin, none of that. So the choices are uh, the Artoria, five star. Uh, the Emiya, who's a four star. Ku, who's a three star. Medusa, who's a three star. Um, Medea, who's a three star. Gojiro, who is a one-star assassin, um, I don't know why I said assassin, and Heracles is the four and he's Berserker. It's all the seven classes from Fate Stay Night, and the CEs are the exact same as anything. Uh, they all have the same effect of increasing bond points, it's just that the art is different. So, and these are the units that are considered for Fate Stay Night servants, it's any of these. Um... And yeah, so you just pick one. For most people, that's going to be a Saber, because that's just a free five, so most people are going to have Saber. If you're picking any out of the other one of these, it means that you already have Saber, or you care just that much about characters that you would rather have these CEs that will likely never show up for anyone else. These are going to be some of the rarest CEs that you're going to see here. Anyone that is not Artoria, because this means actively not picking a five star. Next would probably be Emiya and Herc because they're four stars so they're slightly harder to get. You could understand that. And then you have Ku, Medea, and Medusa who are all like three stars. It's like well it's kind of a waste. And then you have Kojiro who would likely be the hardest one on NA to get because picking him means getting an assassin one star. <laughs> he offers you the least but he does offer you very nice uh, CE art of him with the long, with the long legs. Um... So best of luck checking this one. Like I said, for most people, the obvious choice here is just pick the five star. But if you're not picking the five star, you're picking one of the other ones because it's the character you like. As my brother was saying, he doesn't plan to pick the Artoria one. I'm still probably debating it in my head if I want NP2 Saber. But to be honest, I already have Ibuki and I already use her as my main Saber. So I wouldn't really want to switch to Artoria at the moment, even though she is really good. So maybe I'll go for one of the other ones. Uh, not Emiya. It would probably be, funny enough, it might be Gojiro. I might actually go for him. It would be the ultimate, like... It's the ultimate of, of you should not do this, but I would do it anyway. But anyway, you can pick that one. That's not the only thing related to the C. Um, 
There's also going to be a login bonus, which is this is going to start. They didn't say in the video when it starts, but I'm going to say it's going to start pretty soon because the retweet campaign goes until uh, the 6th of August. And the summer event ends on the 7th, so it should be coming up pretty soon. Um, if we end up getting the retweet campaign, which if you can find the... You can find the tweet of it up on the actual Fago Twitter, which I can just show you right here, actually. You can see right here. Yeah, this one right here. It ends on 8.06, then, then, so a new master will receive. If you can reach it by this point, then they'll get an additional 20 sync quartz, which means one amazing thing. It means you will have another summon before summer goes away, potentially, which is pretty nice. Not only that, there's also going to be logins for it. Again, we don't know the specific date, but it should be starting up pretty soon. Probably on exactly on the 31st. I went to go check to wait to day roll today, but when I looked at it, it wasn't there. So it's probably going to be at the 31st or the 1st. Let me see, when is the 6th? It should probably have started today. <laughs> we'll probably start at the 31st or something, I don't know. Um, find out soon, hopefully soon, because uh, the logins that you get for it is 2 million QP, 20 um, 4 EXP. 10 of the Silver Foes, um, 20 uh, St. Quartz on day 4, 24 EXP, 2 million QP, and then 20 again. So that would be a total of 60 St. Quartz, which would be 2 additional multis to go for on Summer, which would be huge for a lot of people. And of course, there'll be all Ember and Training Fields will be open. There'll be time to bonus for anyone from the original 7 of Fates Day Night. Um, we already had this game update added, I think, so that's why they didn't mention it during it, but there you go. And there should be a summoning campaign that goes with it as well, which you can get Artoria, Emia, Hercules, Kukalin, Medusa, or Medea, um, with the raid of Cash Absences being, um, Beyond a Wish, Battle Companion, and those eyes let none get away. If you want Kojiro, you have to go to, uh... You have to go to the the free-to-play banner. That's the way to get it. Or you can just get them from here. Who knows? But that's the Face Day Night campaign. Uh, enjoy that for when it comes up. 60 Zane Quartz is always nice, especially when it's happening early. Makes sense. As I saw it was a little bit weird that it was like... Mm, that nothing really well else was added. But I guess, you know... Especially to do a Dev Diary. It was a very short one. But maybe... I don't know. Communication is uh, always nice and appreciated, but at the same time, it's like you know this could have been uh, this could have been a post. <laughs> you didn't need to go all out for it, but I, I thank you very much for it. I guess and always nice to hear him speak some English at us. It's very appreciated the effort he goes to. But anyway, next. Okay, so now we'll go into the actual JP history of the game. Nope, that's not where it is. 26 million download campaign. So this one, I don't know when it starts. It should start at the end of um, the event itself. If that's how it happened on JP. The reason I think that this might show up slightly earlier is due to some weird game update, but maybe they just don't care about that. Let's go into it. So for this, they'll be long there's no way for it to do it because it can't happen at the same time as Fates Day Night now that I look at it. Login count will be 10 silver apples. 10 golden apples, 10 million QP, 10 5 EXP, 10 silver foe, 10 silver foe, and then tickets over 7 days. Uh, the cumulative uh, uh, cumulative login bonus is 200 mana prisms, 1 golden foe of attack and HP, and then 1 man rare mana prisms, and then 1 lore over 5 days. Other campaigns will be a 2 times chance of super and great success when... Strengthening seas and servants, space star is going to be available as an NPC for all ember quests. All Emperor quests will cost one half AP, and all free quests will cost one half AP, but only for the first three times and until you basically see the word clear on it. That's how long it's going to last. Um, in the Da Vinci's Workshop, we'll have this be added, which is going to be a permanent change, which is going to be the ability to exchange for 10 uh, 5 EXP, uh, EXP up to 5 times for a cost of 40, and then the, the 10 that will be here for the 4 EXP will go down to 15 cost and you'll be able to try it for five of them. And then on the rare mana, prism, rare mana prism side, my tongue is on that and letting me talk today. Idol Maker will become available and then you can go trade limit one of them in case you weren't able to fully make it last time it was here and then go about it your way that way. And then available from August 31st onward will be Spacious Tars Ashtaran Origin Unlock Permit. After you clear Solomon, it will be free. And it looks like that's the only way you'll be able to get it as well. Because it, no matter what, it says cost zero. I assume it would be five, but it's going to always cost zero, apparently. 
Then for a limited time, we'll get a quick Arts and Buster car code opener. Uh, five tickets. Uh, again, sh being able to exchange ten... <laughs> Getting 10 5 EXP cards 5 times, so that would be a total of 50. The same thing goes for 4, this one will cost 40, this one will cost 15. The Silver Foes, 20 and 20, both for HP and for attack. Game updates, login rewards, this is one of the big things that's changing, which I'm not, this is why I thought that they would want to maybe update this a little bit sooner, but apparently that's not the route they're going. Uh, the login rewards will stay the same on the first and the second day. On the third day, the four EXP will be replaced by a five EXP, and then on the fourth, it's the same. Fifth, it will, the two four EXPs will be replaced for a five EXP. Six and seven will be the same, and then the exchange ticket that you get uh, will change it from going three materials will now be five. Um, that's why I thought that this thing would have to show up at the beginning of the month, but it looks like they're probably not going to be doing that, so it's fine i guess it is a little bit weird but i guess there's nothing saying that you have to start this right at the beginning of the month but the, the, they did plan it on jp to be specifically that so who knows maybe they'll do the same for us i don't know it's possible though and we already have the ap recovery item usage stuff so that doesn't matter but there will be a summoning campaign on the first week this uh, this event lasts two weeks on the first um oh actually these both unlock at the same time that's fucking crazy summoning campaign one features space ishtar and calamity jane where you can get Princes of the Red Bean Pace, Planet Rock, and to pursue literary and military arts simultaneously. Those are the limited craft essence from Saber Wars 2. Uh, there will also be new craft essence added, Rising Mud Rain and the Menkyo Kaden. I believe R uh, Rising Mud Rain is like a new... Not Black Grail, it's the lower version of the Black Grail that I forget the name of because I don't use it as much as the Black Grail. This will be... It has a similar effect to that one, except for it gives you more attack uh, as you level it up. And you get a... MP overcharge of plus two stages the first time you use it, and then it goes away. Um, and then it also will do you damage, or maybe for some units that's actually beneficial, that you actually want to see them damaged or something, I don't know. Removed Craft Essence, no longer showing up, that's right, unfortunately this is the end of with one strike, so no longer will it darken me and my brother's summons once again. Forever gone, never to be seen again, who knows what we'll replace it now on our summon videos, but I'm just... I'll be I'll be happy to see it gone. <laughs> After the summer event, getting that one a whole bunch of times, I am done seeing that 4CE ever again. Uh, and then there will be another summoning campaign that will be with it as well, which will feature Ishtar, Ish Goggle, Mysterious Heroine X Alter, Minamoto no Raiko, uh, Ibuki Doji, and Amakasu Shiro. <sighs> with the first day having Ishtar, the second day having um, first starting with Ishtar. And then one, two, three days later, Erish will be here. And then one, two, three, Mysterious, Hero, Mysterious Heroine X Alter. One, two, three, Reiko will be there. One, two, three, uh, Saber Abuki. One, two, three, ending it with Omakasu Shiro. And then also in their banners, there won't be any four star, but they will have special craft essences that feature them, such as the one featuring Ishtar, Starry Nights, uh, Bittersweet, and Flower Sunshine. Erish Kaga will have Bittersweet and Flower Sunshine. Mysterious Heroine X Altar will have Princes of the Red Bean Paste. Raiko has none, because apparently maybe all the Raiko CEs are actually free, so she, they can't just give them to you. I know there are CEs with Raiko in them, I've seen the art. Um, Abuki Doshi, I guess the same case here. And then Amakasu Shiro, five CEs featuring Shiro's face that you can get. Um, which would be a moment of silence, Detective Edmund, Spring Equinox, Travel Log, uh, the Detective Edmund, True Mastermind Arc, the Moment of Peace, and the One Who Desires Salvation will be the ones on there. Now, excuse me as I have to answer a text because my work is on fire. One moment. All right, small fire put out, but that's what it's looking like for the download celebration. Oh, uh, let's go on to the next. There's not much after that, actually. To be one, like I said, there's 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 not a lot. Advanced Quest Part Six is the next thing. Um, mechanics, it's pretty simple. It's three new ones. One will give you a C for chains. The other one for stake. The other one for bones. These are the same as they always are. I bring it up just so, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> I always feel bad because whenever I have to do like the little edit things in there, I'm always like, and for these three seconds, I talked about Advanced Quest Part 8. There's nothing much to say. Do the quest, get the thing, easy done, easy clap, not that hard. Road to Lost Belt. Number Actually, some of them are hard from what I remember, but either way. 
decks. Lost Road to Seven, Lost Belt number four campaign. Um, this will be something to help catch up for Lost Belt four. These are all of them as we lead up to Lost Belt uh, seven. They really want you to focus on the story, and when things are this slow right now, I would suggest doing that and taking advantage of it. Um, this will unlock interludes for unsummoned servants, so if you don't have any of these servants, make sure to do their interludes so you can get to St. Quartz and read some of the story stuff. Arjuna Altar and uh, Junako are the two new ones getting interludes that you can do. But then there's also Karna, Rama, Eshvetaman, um, Lakshimba, Neza, William Tell, and uh, Asclapius over here. I know that's not how you say his name, but that's how I want to say his name. And then the limited missions, same as always, Clear Yuga, um, Clear Lost Belt 4. Free quest one time, get five pots. Clear it a second time, get it some code openers. Clear it a third time, get some mana prisms. <clears throat> and then there'll be campaigns related to it where it'll be one fourth AP for um, Lost Belts. Uh, for main quest, Arc 1, Anastasia, Lost Belt 1, 2, 3, and 4. Uh, free quest will have one half AP for the first clear rewards only. Uh, servant strengthening quests and interludes will be half AP. Double EXP gained when leveling. Uh, times two friend point gained when using support. And bond point bonus of 30% when brought to Lost Belt 4 free quests for any of these servants. Simple enough. Very simple. Some other updates. Uh, Lakshimba will be getting her strengthening, which will be a strengthening to her guts that you can see right here. Nessa will get one. For Divine Protection of the Tatagata, we'll change into the Gen Divine General, Marshal of the Central Altar. Uh, in the Da Vinci Workshop, you can get this mouse, the one who carries fortune. Trade limit 1 for 300 mana prisms. Uh, recollection quest, same as every single one of the other ones. Do it, get a ticket. Clear main quest, you have to clear Lost Belt 4 and then you have to do one of these other ones. Clear Act 9, Arrow 3, Recollection Quest, do that, and then you'll be able to unlock this one. But then also doing Clear Act 10, Arrow 2, Recollection Quest, 1 of 3, you'll be able to get the Summon Ticket, the same one. Very simple stuff, to how to do all these. Um, I you can most the, the harder ones are obviously going to be harder versions of whatever fight you had in the story, but if you just want the tickets, it's easy to just do the quest again, get the ticket, and kind of call it a day. You don't have to do the super recollection quest if you just want to get the ticket and leave. But for the people who want the challenge, the super recollection quests are right there for you and perfect. Uh, and some, for a summoning campaign, there will be a banner featuring Arjuna Altar, Kama, Janako, Rama, Lakshimba, Neza, Esvataman, William Tell, and Asclapius. Starting with Arjuna Altar featuring Rama, Lakshimba, Neza, Esvataman on the start of it and then three days later karna will get the banner and then three days later janako all of them featuring all the units i talked about um and there'll be a rate up craft essence for the family portrait that's basically it um and then there'll be a 2600 day anniversary 10 sync ports not much now that's all that happened on JP, but there is one additional thing to talk about which is something that happens only on na and they've done it pretty recently so uh, that is the it's likely to happen so i'll just put it here at the end as a speculation i don't know what they could put in this to be 100 percent real with you but that's because there has only been two of these so they started doing in august this back to school campaign and i think they started it in august because as far as i can tell from back here i don't remember them doing it's a fairly new thing as far as i'm aware of and it's not something that they do on no no they did it back here have we always had it and i just never realized it and i just been like okay Okay, no, I had to have been fairly recently. Started, let's say 2021, but let me, I'm gonna go 2020, just to be sure on this one. Okay, yes. It looks like these started in 2021 with Ryko, Back to School Campaign Part 2. Um, and you can see here, it's just a very simple banner. This one had um, Shikabu, Kintoki, and Minamoto no Ryko, because all these ha characters have high school outfits in one way or another. Um... They do like Yankee because uh, Kentucky has Ryder Kentucky, but you can't put Ryder Kentucky in a banner. Summer Raiko is obviously here. And then they just added um, Murasaki Shikabu because why not, I guess, at that point. Make it a full Ryder banner at, at least. Uh, that was the first one of these. And the next one was had Mysterious Heroine X Altar, which this one has a summoning campaign that also featured uh, Ilya and Miyu on it. And I don't believe they had the original banner. But then when you see this one right here... Um, 
this is the big one because this is the one that actually absorbed the Ilya. So this was a combination of Ilya's strengthening and all that combined with something else because there was also a game update and as far as i'm aware of jp does not have this yet if you play jp free will and tell me if you guys have gotten this yet because you're supposed to get this i'm pretty sure when they announced the start dash campaign they said hey this is coming to the jp server later i just don't know if they've ever done it before <laughs> But yeah, on this one, they started giving by giving an NA a exclusive start dash guarantee summon, which is spend 12 paid quarts to get one of these SSRs, and it was really nice. And this also rolled up the Ilya campaign with Miyu in it, so that was also really nice. So if there was ever a chance for the MASH thing, I think this is where MASH is going to likely... There's going to be a banner featuring all the MASH CEs, because as you can see here... Um, if we look back to August here, which is why I saved saying this one. This one was supposed to be related to Melty Blood, but obviously we haven't gotten it yet. And in this summoning campaign was the way to get all the old MASH Cs, like Grand New Year, Dumplings Over Flowers, Dangerous Beast, Caldea Anniversary, Signs of the Smiling Face, and Halloween Arrangement. And we have not gotten this banner yet. Um, I would assume that they're saving it for back to school. Well, they'll change the main unit because this is going to have Artoria, and obviously we can't have Artoria. So maybe they'll do someone else. Someone unexpected, maybe someone related, maybe it'll just be Ilya again. Uh, maybe it'll be someone from this actual Lost Belt, because as you can see here, Zufu and Roland are in it. So it would make sense if it was maybe Charlie. Maybe they could put in Charlie or something. He does have like a newsboy uh, outfit that he gets eventually for the male side, but that's where I, this is where I assume this uh, MASH campaign stuff will be rolled into will be for the Back to School campaign. Will they have anything as cool as they did last year with the new Start Dash Guaranteed Summon? I don't know. It would be nice, um, but I just don't know about that. But, you know, speculation. And the final thing I'll say is that this time last year, we did do a thing where the Fago NA team ha was technically a part of the Fago JP anniversary stream. Not really. <laughs> it was a little bit weird. They hyped it up, which was a hype thing to say, like, oh, my God, we're acknowledging we're going to do. What are they going to announce? Is there going to be like a special event that happens at the same time? And the answer was, it was just a very nice Q&A. And then they watched the JP stream at one point. And there wasn't a lot of things that they announced. I think they did announce this, which was cool, if I remember right. I can't remember a lot of that time because I blocked that stream out of my mind. Because watching it live, I told my, I think I was in Vegas at that time. And I told my brother, if they announce anything, I give you, please, I, I, for an emergency, record something and have it up. That you can procure do it for me and uh after that live stream there there was no there was no need for that <laughs> there the it was just a kind of like okay we're done here so maybe there'll be another stream where the fago n18 will be a part of the jp and maybe they'll announce some stuff there um it'd be nice if we got an announcement for some of the other stuff that are supposed to be coming to na this year such as the fates day night um vn that is supposed to be coming our way who knows though I'm not sure how well received it was on their end, the way they did it. I did I'll give them points for trying because I do like the NA team and the fact that they are willing to kind of go out and try different things like doing the break room and doing live streams like this and trying to get us to interact more. I think that's cool. Sometimes things are going to miss and that was an unfortunate miss for me last year, but you know, it'd be cool to have something. Now that we know like, hey, this is about the level you could expect, I wouldn't mind another Q&A as they guess, I guess as they do a live reaction of watching JP get a bunch of cool stuff. <laughs> ah, and it would be nice actually if they talked about it um, and said specific details about it as it was happening. But who knows? Maybe I'm asking too much. Maybe I expect too much. Who knows? But that's all what it's kind of looking like for me in August. If you have any idea of what other bonus additional things could be added here, like, I think it would actually be kind of cool if they snuck in a rerun somehow. Uh, bring up something here that was previously not rerun already and do it again. This would have been a perfect time to legitimately rerun Summer 2021, but we can't do that because there's a lot of reasons holding it back. One of the main ones being JP voted for it, so we have to wait two years to experience it again. <laughs> um, they won the vote there, which is always silly to me. That I, thought, I was thinking to myself, why didn't you pick the one with the Valkyrie? Why did you pick 2020? Why did you pick... The Columbus Egg Festival. What is wrong with you? But it's because it never had a rerun. Um, but yeah, feel free to tell me if you have any ideas what else could be coming in August. Once um, early September, Guda Guda should come in. And for the most part, it's just kind of a chill. You know, after the, uh, no, not Halloween. 
summer's still kind of going on and honestly i'm kind of still a little from all the summoning i'm tired i'm good to take a break and maybe for some other people they're still trying to get as much sync quartz as they can to continue summoning to you i wish you the best of luck i will see you guys in a later video, I have a bunch of other videos planned out to talk about some of the stuff as we go through the lull here because it's a good time to reassess, look forward, and kind of see where to go from here. But anyway, that's the end of the video, everyone. Thank you very much for watching. If you made it all the way here to the end, I don't think I said it at the beginning, but please uh, feel free to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. It does help out the channel a whole bunch, and the channel has been growing pretty nicely pretty recently. And I thank you very much, especially when I'm not the greatest uh, player in the world, but I am glad to be as helpful as I can. <laughs> to the extent that I can, I will gladly help anyone, and for the people who know a little bit more, I'm more than willing to hear you talk and read through it and go, hmm, very interesting, very good to know for the future. See you in the video, everyone. I gotta go to work. Peace out. Until next time, see ya.